Frank Salee will have the call here at Mohawk Raceway in Campbellville, Ontario. As Arts Place looks to make it 15 for 15, here's the call. The 1992 Breeders' Crown for pacing horses and geldings, and there they go. They're off and pacing Arts Place in the center of the track is making a bid for the lead, and Cross County is going to go with them. Ultra Jet is tucking in from third, Bruce on fourth, and then we're back to Arcane Hanover Camluck, and the early trailer is odds against Arts Place, and Cross County are dueling around the first turn. Arts Place on the outside. Cross County is carrying them around most of the first turn. Ultra Jet in third, Bruce on is fourth, and Arts Place prevails past the quarter in 27 seconds flat and now Arts Place will get it his own way until challenged. Arts Place bringing him in front of the grandstand. Cross County is in second. Ultra Jet remaining in third. Here comes Broussard. Broussard is sacrificing first up on the outside from fourth. Arcane Hanover takes the cover from fifth. Then up on the outside six. Cam Luck is going to be third over and odds against is on the rail in seventh. Four of them on the inside. Three on the outside. Arts Place passing the half for John Campbell in 57 and one. Getting a very easy second quarter of 30 and 1 and Arts Place takes him into the back stretch and is accelerating. He's got the wind at his back now and at the rail in second for the pocket trip is Cross County. Broussard laboring first over. Ultra Jet is fourth. Arcane Hanover outside five. Cam Luck is on the outside six. Odds against is seventh. Arts Place has nobody to within an open length of him. Cross County from second. Broussard on the outside third. Ultra Jet is fourth. Then fifth Arcane Hanover. Three wide six goes Cam Luck the third marker in 124 and 4 that was a 27 and 3 backstretch for Arts Place and Arts Place is an eighth of a mile away from 15 in a row this year and a second breeders crown Arts Place is looking truly invincible another amazing sight he's pouring it on under wraps Arts Place wins the breeders crown in 152 uh, Broussard stage for second Camlock was third Paul and 15 Marty for 15 for Arts Place. He last lost the race October 25th, 1991. What a marvelous season he's had. The four-year-old horse by Abercrombie, Al the Albatross mare, Miss Elvira. And John Campbell piloting Arts Place impressively to the first place finish. Cross County looked like he wanted to give him a go around that first turn, but as they turn for home, it is indeed all Arts Place. You can see John Campbell just sitting there. He's got the lines in his hands, and that's about it. Just checking a little bit the field behind him, but Arts Place, Arts Place with those powerful strides to the wire comes on and wins it easily in 52 flat, Bruce, which means the last half in, if I'm correct, 54 and 4. He won the Driscoll final, the Molson Export Pacing Series final, the U.S. Pacing Championship, the American National, the Senior Jug. A world champion at two, three, and four, and now his second Breeders' Crown stand. Well, it's an amazing triumph here also for George Siegel, who is the owner, along with Brian Monison of Arts Place. Siegel is also the owner of Odds Against, and he also has Western Hanover, who won two legs of the Triple Crown, two jewels of the Triple Crown for three-year-olds. An amazing season for George Siegel. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back. Arts Place winning the horse and gelding pace at Mohawk Raceway in the Breeders' Crown. The 20th victory for John Campbell in Breeders' Crown competition and the first time he's ever won this particular race. And John joins us now just outside of the winner's circle. John, what a marvelous year, first of all, for Arts Place. Can you put it in perspective for us? He's just a fantastic horse. Uh, you just go along for the ride, and he, he does all the work, and it's a thrill every time you drive him. What about his fluidity tonight and his power? Well, he's as good tonight as he's been all year, and that's uh, a testament to what Bob's done with him to, to keep him at this level, and, and he's still as strong or stronger than ever tonight. John, on the subject of the race itself, 27 opening quarter, tested there a little bit around the first turn. You took the lead, backed it off, 30 and 1, second quarter, and then the horse pretty much did it the rest on his own, 54 and 4, last half. Well, once he gets to the half, he, he relaxes real good the second quarter, and as soon as he hits the half, he just picks up the bit, and he likes to roll that third quarter. And once he starts rolling, he, he's never stopped. He's never been beat when he's been on the front. I'd like to say best horse you've ever driven, but you'd reserve part of that for Mac Lobel. This is the best pace you've ever driven, yeah, no, possibly? No question about it. Uh, for a horse to race at his level for three years in a row, it's just incredible. John, let's go back to the duel at the start for a minute. Arch Place and Cross County. 
Well, I knew Cross County had a lot of gate speed. I've raced against him a lot, and uh, Art is actually better when you fire him out of the gate fast. And if he gets down to the first quarter, right around 27 or even a little better, he, that's when he's at his best. He almost needs a challenge to really motivate him. Well, you got to motivate him out of the gate, and it gets him into the race uh, when he goes that first quarter fast. And uh, and then once he makes the front, he just relaxes, and, and then as soon as he has the back stretch, he just picks up the bit again. Even though he had post six, did you expect to see Cam Luck, and were you surprised when you didn't up front early? Well, it, it's hard to leave against a horse like Arts Plate because he can he can go whether you go to the half in 55 or 57. It doesn't matter. And if he's inside of you, it, it's going to take a lot out of you. So I, I really didn't know what to expect from the outside horses. John Campbell, congratulations. Another great drive. We wish you the best. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Great Garrett. going, John. So John Campbell pilots Arts Place. He said it was kind of easy. You just get on for the ride and let him fire. And that's exactly what Arts Place did tonight. Another terrific performance. The final time, 152 flat been a big night of racing here at Mohawk. We'll take a short break. In just a couple of moments, we'll recap the evening for you. But Arts, is, Arts Place, in terms of the prices, $2.30 and $2.10. Broussard, second, $2.10. Cam Luck was third. There was no show wagering the time of the miles we mentioned. one fifty-two flat. Arts Place in the winner's circle. He's used to be there. Welcome back to Mohawk Raceway. An awesome performance tonight again by Arts Place. And George Siegel, the owner of Arts Place, joins us. And first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. When you look back at his four-year-old campaign, uh, what comes to your mind? Undefeated so far. Great horse. Redeemed himself for a great but not super great year last year. And he's just one of the greatest horses of all time. You said you wanted to pay tribute to some of your connections involved with Arts Place. Well, first of all, Bob McIntosh has done a fabulous job with this horse. Uh, he's got him looking great and racing to the top of his game. And Campbell's driven him perfectly all year, and the groom uh, has done a great job. What's next now? You're still undefeated. Are you going to continue for the rest of the year? Well, we're going to race him in uh, Edmonton in the Stuart Frazier, and that should be his last race. All right, so you hope to finish undefeated after that Edmonton race. We wish you the best of luck, George. Congratulations. Thank you very much. George Siegel, the owner of Arts Place, another stirring performance here at Mohawk Raceway this evening.